Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics, and today we are going to solve this really interesting and great challenge, a plus to ab plus b equal to 22, and we need to find our positive integer solution, so let's do this. First of all, let's multiply both sides by 2, what do we have right here, if we multiplied both sides by 2, so this is our first step, we multiplied both sides by, by 2, if we multiplied both sides by 2, on the left side we have 2a, okay, 2a plus 4ab, obviously, yeah, and by 2 we multiply, and so for a b and plus 2b equal to equal to not 22 but 44 this is our first step so we multiply this both side by by 2 what we're going to do next let's add to both sides let's add 1 okay so right here in the second step we add 1 to both sides so we add add 1 we have what do we have right here on the left side we have 2a plus 4ab plus 2b and plus 1 equal to 44 plus 1 equal to 45 45 and right here let's look at this expression in the beginning so we have 2a and plus 4ab let's factor from this expression from this we can easily take it inside parentheses it changed nothing because we have all the time addition so let's factor from this uh, expression inside parentheses <coughs> let's factor 2a what do we have right here if we factor 2a inside parentheses we have 1 plus 2b okay so 1 plus 2b and we have right here this expression so plus 2b and plus 1 equal to 45 okay i hope you understand this step uh, right here let's change position a little bit because uh, we need to, to have the same expression as right here okay obviously 1 plus 2b is the same as 2b plus 1 okay so we have 2a inside parentheses we have 2b plus 1 and plus 2b plus 1. This is really great. So we have the same expression and obviously we can easily take this expression inside parentheses. We, it changed nothing because we have all the time addition, so equal to 45. <clears throat> okay, right here we have the same expression inside parentheses and the same expression right here inside parentheses. So let's factor this expression. We can easily factor this expression. So what do we have right here? 2b plus 1 and times, from here we have 2a, 2a and plus Right here we have only one because we factor this whole expression, so equal to 45. And someone prefer expression with a right of the first on the left side, so let's change position. It changed nothing for us, but it maybe someone need it. Okay, so we have 2a plus 1, someone like it, yeah, 2a so plus 1 and times 2b plus 1 equal to 45. This is real great. So we factor our challenge. And right now this is really important moment because this is a great approach. So we need to know about approach. How can we solve these kind of challenges? First of all, if we have a product, so if we have a product of two parentheses on the left hand side, we need to express our constant uh, with, uh, in a way of two like uh, multiplication, uh, two values that multiply by each other. Okay, so this 40, 45 can be written as in two ways. So we can write it as 3 times 15, obviously. Yeah? The first way, how can we express this? And the second way, this is 9 times 5. Yeah, And if we look closely, 2a plus 1 and 2b plus 1, obviously, first parentheses need to be greater or equal than 3, because if we're talking about positive integers, so the first positive integer, for example, is 1, so we have 2 times 1, we have 2, 2 plus 1, we have 3. So it begins with, with 3, and the same with the second parentheses. Okay, and if you look about these uh, cases, 3 times 15, this is great for us, yeah, and 9 times 5, this is also great for us, so we need to, <coughs> we need to solve system of equations right here. So, for example, let's start with the first case, 3 and 15, so let's separate, for example, this solution, so from here I want you to look at this at these cases, so let's separate this solution, and let's go, for example, with 2a plus 1 right here, and 2b plus 1 to be plus 1. I want to separate it for you. We have 45. And let's go, for example, with first combination, 3 and 15. So 3 right here, 15 we have right here. So let's solve this, this system of equations right, right here. So this parenthesis equal to 3, so we have 2a plus 1 equal to 3. So 2a plus 1 equal to 3. And 2b plus 1 equal to 15. 2b plus 1 equal to equal to 15. How can we solve this system of equation? This is really easy for us because 2a equal to 2 from here if we bring this one to the right side so 2a equal to 2 and from here 2b equal to 14. 2b equal to 14 and obviously b equal to 7, a equal to 1 from this equation. Let's write for example right here on the on the right on the left side so first first pairs 
a equal to 1 and b equal to 7. So 1 and 7. Okay, let's go to the second case right here. So second case, we can obviously swap these elements because, for example, 3 times 15 and 15 times 3 is equal to 45. So we have right here 15 on the left side and we have 3 on the right side. So it implies that it changed nothing for us because we have only 2a plus 1. So we have absolutely the same cases, but in a reverse way. So we have 2a plus 1 equal to 15 and 2b plus 1 equal to equal to 3. From here 2a equal to 14, yeah 2a equal to 14 and 2b equal to equal to 2. And it changed nothing for us, we have absolutely the same a equal to 7, b equal to 1. So as you can see we swap this position, okay so we have 7 and 1. These are our second pairs of, of solution. Let's go to the third pair of solution because we complete only first, only first uh, on the first expression right here we have also 9 and 5 so let's do this so let's split this solution so the third case we have 9 and 5 so 9 and 5 it implies that 2a plus 1 equal to 9 2a plus 1 equal to 9 and 2b plus 1 equal to equal to 5 let's solve this challenge so 2a equal to 8 right here yeah 2a equal to 8 and to be equal to equal to 4. Okay, so from here we can easily say that a equal to 4 and b equal to b equal to 2. Okay, and also we can write this right here so we can end this one as a equal to 7, b equal to 1, yeah, and right here we have a equal to 1 and b equal to equal to 7. So if you want someone want to solve this completely uh, equations, yeah? So a equal to 4, b equal to 2, let's write it right here, so 4 and 2. And obviously it changed nothing because the fourth pair will be 2 and 4, but let's solve this completely, okay, let's do this. So we have 5 right here, 9 we have right here. So it implies, let's uh, split, this, split this solution, yeah? So right here, right here, and the fourth, for solution, we have 2a plus 1 equal to 5 and 2b plus 1 equal to equal to 9, okay, equal to 9, which is equal to 2a equal to 4, obviously, from this one, 2a equal to 4 and 2b equal to equal to 8. So as you can see, we can easily swap this because a equal to 2 and b equal to b equal to 4. This is our fourth pair of solutions, so we have a 2 and 4. Okay, two and four. You can also check this solution in our in our challenge. But okay, let's write our final answer right here. Okay, so let's write our final final answer. So the pairs A and B, A and B. If you're talking about pairs, equal to one seven first pair of solution, second pair of solution seven one, third pairs of solution four and two, and the fourth pair of solution two and four and four. This is a solution to this challenge. Let's go through the steps real quick right here because this is a very great practice challenge. Okay, so right here, what do we have? First of all, we need to factor our challenge. So this is two, two really great trick. First trick right here and the second track, trick right here. It helps us a lot because then we can easily factor to b plus one and we have our, our product. So just learn that if we have uh, questions like that, we need to factor our challenge. There is no way we solve this challenge in another way. We need to factor our challenge on the left side and express our constant because in 99% we have a constant on the right side, which can be expressed in a two or three ways. Sometimes in one way you, you can reject the second way, but in our case, two cases is, is great, is great for us. Okay, so then we split this, split this uh, in it in four cases because we have uh, two cases, and we can also swap this as fifteen three and three fifteen and nine five and five nine as right here. And also you can easily solve this uh, system of equations, which is not hard, obviously, but uh, sometimes you may solve this uh, challenge with the quadratic equation or, no, or with this system of equation. It happens sometimes, but obviously this is really easy easy equations for us. 
So generally, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, a lot of challenges every day. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, I want to say thank you for your for your support on my channel. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make a new content every day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comment, for your kind comment, for your for your not kind comment. Someone sometimes, yeah. But it helps me a lot. It improves my content every day. So I really want to say really thank you for your for your support. Thank you for your time, see you in the next videos and have a great day, write your suggestion about this challenge, write your question down into the comment section, we will discuss about this challenge. Uh, sometimes happen that students write uh, answer as, for example, uh, okay, correct answer is, Mr. Correct answer is 1771. But uh, you forgot about these two answers. Some students write, okay, one uh, correct answer is 17. They forget about another answer. But as you can see, we have four different pairs, which is really great in terms of math. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.